the president says that ISIS doesn't threaten our national existence like uh, Germany or Japan did back in World War II, that the terror group is nothing more than twisted souls plotting attacks in their garages. But the House Homeland Security Committee recently said that over a thousand ongoing investigations of homegrown extremism in 50 states. So how, how do you define the threat? Well, like Germany the, then or dangerous nutcases now? Yeah, I would go, first of all, one step further in this description of Hillary Clinton. She wouldn't just be a disaster. Hillary Clinton is disqualified from being commander in chief of the United States. Uh, Someone... Someone who cannot handle intelligence information appropriately cannot be commander-in-chief, and someone who lies to the families of those four victims in Benghazi can never be president of the United States. Now, on the issue of Barack Obama, Barack Obama does not believe that America is a great global power. Barack Obama believes that America is an arrogant global power that needs to be cut to si down to size. And that's how you get a foreign policy where we cut deals with our enemies like Iran and we betray our allies like Israel, and we gut our military, and we go around the world like he has done on 10 separate occasions and apologized for America. He doesn't understand the threat in ISIS. He consistently underestimates it, but I do not. There is a war against ISIS, not just against ISIS, but against radical jihadist terrorists, and it is a war that either they win or we win. When I'm president of the United States, we are going to win this war on ISIS. The most powerful intelligence agency in the world is going to tell us where they are. The most powerful military in the world is going to destroy them. And if we capture any of them alive, they are getting a one-way ticket to Guantanamo Bay, Cuba, and we are going to find out everything they know.